This is your Blue Line BJJ Tip of the Week. Today we're going to be talking about seatbelt takedowns and specifically his spine alignment when I'm going for this seatbelt takedown. As he's here facing away from me, I bring a hand over the shoulder, hand on the armpit, I connect my seatbelt together. If his back is straight, is vertical, pretty easy for me to get this uh, takedown here. As we're in place, I drive the hips forward, I knock him back down, it's all good. The problem is if his shoulders end up in front of his hips, let's say he's either running or for some reason he's kind of bent over. If I go to connect my seatbelt, that's gonna put my hips above his hips. So as I'm here like this, it's easy for him to lift me, it's easy for me to get off balance. I have the risk of falling over, I have the risk of being thrown. Instead, what's, what I wanna see is this. If he's bent forward and I go to connect this seatbelt, I wanna throw my hips off to the side. So instead of my center line being over his center line, or my center line being over his tailbone, I'm gonna make this connection and throw my body off here. As I'm sitting off to the side, there's less chance of me being thrown. I'm twisting his upper body a little bit, putting me in a more dominant position. Now it may be a common grab for him to try to reach for this leg. I wanna make sure my underhook maintains kind of the shepherd's hook here, kind of controlling this arm so he doesn't able, not able to turn into me. So from the seatbelt, when he grabs onto this leg, I just start to twist him and lower him down to get him back to his butt. This is your Blue Line BJJ Tip of the Week.